One of the difficult things in dealing with Nietzsche and interpreting what he um, uh, what he has to say is the fact that uh, he doesn't really put things down in the coherent way that so many other philosophers do. He doesn't say this is the way things are uh, and from start to finish methodically put everything together. Uh, well, he does some of that, but a lot of his style is sort of disjointed. The classic uh, case is the, uh, his well-known aphoristic style, where he just sort of says all these disjointed sayings, as it were, um, which m sort of makes it difficult to sort of say what this guy believes is crap, um, simply because um, you may not have actually figured out what he's trying to say. <laughs> um, and... I think that that's especially difficult when you approach it from sort of a hostile point of view. Um, he's irritating in that he, uh, people say, well, he contradicts himself, he's slippery, you can't actually uh, figure out what he's trying to say. What, what, what's his point of view? What's his ism? What, what is he trying to sort of put together as a coherent corpus or, you know, a co coherent set of ideas or ideals even or whatever? See why I like him. Um, <laughs> people said the same thing about Socrates, um, and even people who are passionately Nietzschean often vehemently disagree with each other on what it all means. Um, I think he put, put it himself the best, a philosophy for the modern age, <laughs> an entire philosophy. Thank you.